Dell's XPS notebook lineup has consistently been one of the best in the market if you're looking for a premium Windows experience. This year, we obviously have some new upgrades and we are checking out the all new XPS 15 9500. This year, Dell has gone for a universal design approach and the new XPS 15 9500 looks a lot like the 13 inch version. It is slimmer thanks to the omission of USB type A ports and the display now extends all the way down making it way more immersive. The notebook continues to be a 15 inch laptop with a 14 inch footprint. And the bottom chassis is said to be made from a single block of CNC machined aluminium and you also get the carbon fiber finish on the keyboard deck. Also it is notably on the heavier side despite having a sleek design. Uncluded display, the lid opens nicely with just one hand and you are greeted with this large chunk of Gorilla Glass. Tugged underneath is a bright and color rich 4K Ultra HD Plus resolution panel with 500 nits of peak brightness. Now, it is a step back from the OLED option from last year, but it is said to be 40 times brighter and blacks are up to 10 times darker. It is also VESA Display HDR400 certified and covers the 100% Adobe RGB and 94% DCI-P3 color gamuts. In short, this is one of the best displays that you can get on a laptop today. Also, there is the option of a 1080p version. Now, I'm no creative professional, but if you are one, then I can assure you that you are definitely going to love this one. Also, despite the super slim bezels, Dell has managed to add an infrared camera with Windows Hello recognition, which in my opinion is the best way to unlock your notebook. The keyboard is very XPS with a black finish and low profile keys. The key travel is pretty good and I actually had a nice time typing on it. There is also a humongous trackpad, almost as big as the one we see on the MacBook Pro 16. It felt way too big for me but I'm sure creative professionals and people who love using gestures are going to love this one. Flanking on either side of the keyboard are these stereo speakers and they are just absolutely worth listening to. They fall just short of the speakers on the MacBook which is obviously the gold standard but honestly I haven't heard anything this good on a Windows laptop. There's a nice thump of bass, vocals are crisp and they're loud enough to fill up an entire bedroom. This has been made possible by using a quad speaker design with two 2.5 watt woofers and two 1.5 watt tweeters producing a total of 8 watts. Dell has loaded the new XPS with the latest 10th gen Intel Core i7-10750H processor which is a 6 core 5GHz chip, enough to match most desktop PCs. Notably, this is the only processor option you get whether you go for the 1080p non-touch variant or the 4K touch version. There is 16GB of DDR4 RAM and you can also opt for the 32GB version for the high-end variant, which comes with either 512GB or 1TB of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. For graphics, there is an NVIDIA GeForce 1650Ti with 4GB of memory. Now, I was pretty impressed with the machine's ability to handle most of my daily workflow with ease. Also, the included graphics processor is modern enough for some casual gaming and I would like to stress on the word casual as this is strictly not a gaming machine. By making the XPS 15 slimmer, Dell has sacrificed on the boards. You get a total of 3 USB Type-C ports, all of which support power delivery and display out and two of these also support Thunderbolt 3.0. There is also a headphone jack combo and an SD card slot which makes sense if you are a creative professional. Dell also ships a USB Type-C to Type-A and HDMI 2.0 adapter in the box. Other than that there is killer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.1 for wireless connectivity as well. 
Apart from face recognition, there is a fingerprint scanner as well which is oddly a black key on the top right corner. For some reason Dell didn't even bother to put a power or a fingerprint scanner logo on the key. As for battery life, Dell claims that one can get up to 8 hours and 27 minutes of Netflix streaming on the USD Plus panel with its 86 watt hour battery. I was able to get about 7 hours on video streaming and close to 6.5 hours with a mix of my daily work. If you pull down the resolution to 1080p or in this case 1200p, you could squeeze in at least a couple of more hours. Overall, the battery is just about average and yes, you will need to charge this at the end of your day. Now, the XPS 15 starts at 1,86,000 and the one I reviewed costs about 2,14,000. Now, that is a lot of money and honestly, this is the most expensive XPS model we've seen in years. In my opinion, if someone needs a powerful portable workhouse, they might as well invest in a slim gaming notebook or go for the MacBook. It makes sense. Having said that, the XPS 15 is possibly the best premium Windows notebook that you can buy today and is also a solid alternative to the MacBook Pro.